King's College Chapel, Cambridge, so famous for its Christmas Eve festival of nine lessons and carols, is at this time a sad place. The death of Sir Stephen Cleabury, our director of music for 37 years before he retired just a few short months ago, while not unexpected, has brought home to us even more profoundly not only how great his contribution to choral music has been, but also how closely we all work together in our small community and how important the bonds of friendship, collegiality and love are to us all. King's is primarily a place of education and it's as an educator of choristers and choral scholars that we especially remember Stephen today. His musical formation of almost countless boys and young men who have been members of the choir since 1982 has been profound. He gave himself unstintingly to the relentless round of rehearsals and services and used every opportunity to make the highest demands on all members of the choir. In this regard, as in all others, he led by example, expecting nothing more from others than he was prepared to give himself. He justly prided himself on meticulous preparation and his attention to detail was as astonishing as the range of his knowledge was impressive and the depth of his love of music was itself moving. Working with Stephen for 10 years of his time here, five as chaplain and five as dean, I always appreciated the modest way in which he conducted during acts of worship and his devout demeanor during the liturgy. His example in this regard being important for choir and congregation alike and conveying to even the youngest members of the choir the deep differences between singing in an act of worship and performing in a concert. Much more will be said about Stephen's great talent and extraordinary musical leadership in the days to come. But let me conclude these remarks with words of a prayer of John Donne, familiar words to many but especially to us here at King's, as they are always the final prayer at our great choral requiem masses. Bring us, O Lord God, at our last awakening into the house and gate of heaven, to enter into that gate and dwell in that house, where there shall be no darkness nor dazzling, but one equal light, no noise nor silence, but one equal music, no fears nor hopes, but one equal possession. No ends nor beginnings, but one equal eternity in the habitations of thy glory and dominion, world without end. Amen.